Hi guys, so this is CA Inter recent November 2022 exams paper analysis video. You will be shocked, you know, like all the questions, all the questions, exact sentences I will show you in our material. Now, immediately, by the way, please listen to this video till the end without missing any minute. You are going to learn an important lesson here. See, you may say, you, you may immediately start concluding that, sir, in almost all the materials available in the market, of course, these questions will appear. But, in our material, you will find exact sentences. Very simple, our CA Inter Audit material, not only our CA Inter Audit, even our other subjects also, it's very tough. We ensure that we do not deviate from the institute terminology. We never simplify the materials. I always instruct all our team members to make the material in the same standard how ICA is maintaining. Now, immediately as a student, what do you think? Sir, if the material is simple only, we can understand, no? See, if at all the material is simplified, what is there for me to explain? My skill set as a faculty, my skill set will be you know, portrayed, my skill set can be demonstrated only if I make you understand even from the toughest terminology. That's what I believe in. And only if you read from such kind of standard, you will not do a mistake. The chances of doing mistake will be substantially low. If I change the sentences into alternative ways and give you the questions, make you the, and teach the class in that manner, very simple. As a teacher, what is my responsibility? You know, I need to bring you from down to the top. I should not reach it to your level and then teach. I should make sure, I should ensure you reach my level, you reach the institute level. So that is what my responsibility and that is what portrayed in this exam as well once again. Anyhow, uh, you know, we'll straight away, you know, discuss the paper and see. And, uh, you know, in this paper, many students have told this paper is a bit lengthy. It's not tough, it's moderate and lengthy. That's what the norm, normal feedback on this paper. People are saying, this is not tough. It's easy, moderate or easy, but lengthy. That's what many are complaining. But there are many questions where students will slightly confuse and do mistakes. So let's figure out. And you know, I'm doing this video in the almost fourth week of the November, 23rd November. Today I'm doing this video. And uh, why I'm doing this so late? Actually, I thought of doing this only after exam, not at the time of exam, because uh, there are many chances that students will do mistakes. Okay, if I reveal that at the beginning itself, it will be a bit, it will be not good. Generally, every time I do this, only in the last time I did at the time of exam itself, but anyhow, I regret it later. I, I, I should have done it later. Okay, fine, anyhow. Now you see the question, even if you observe, here we have given our material and our page numbers straight away so that you can correlate directly. Listen till the end without missing. Now what is the first question? In an automated environment, the relationship between the application controls and the general IT controls are not interrelated. They are not interrelated. You know, coincidentally for this question, the answer is given in the next part. The answer is given in the next part. General IT controls are policies and procedures that related to many applications and support effective functioning of application controls. This is the answer you have to write for that. You know, you have seen, you have learned in automated environment, there are three types of controls, general IT controls, application controls, IT dependent controls. General IT controls and application controls both are interrelated. General IT controls will help the application controls for effective functioning. That's what we learned. Anyhow, for this, so whatever the answer, whatever the question asked in correct or incorrect question, the, they have asked in second question 2D, same, similar question, but in that the answer is there. This sentence, if you as it is right, you will get a mark, directly two marks. They are saying it is not interrelated. The answer is incorrect. Like some students have wrote false. Like here the answer is, they are asking you, is it correct or incorrect? Some students have replied it with a different terminology, true or false. That is also will be valid. Don't worry at all about that. Now, anyhow, in our material, straight away, page, pay part 2, 144. For your information, uh, my audit material is in totally three parts. You see here, 
part one is there part two is there part three total three parts we have now automated environment is in part two so in that in that what is the page number here 144 i'll just straight away go to 144 you will straight away find a note point here you see here general it controls and application controls are interrelated the relationship between them is they'll they'll support the functioning of application controls which are both needed for accurate processing of information this is the answer you have to write and coincidentally the answer is present in second question part d question itself even if you write that you'll get marks getting it so that's about the one year two marks question so i straight away showed uh, you know two marks question straight away showed so two marks for this most of whoever have clearly listened to our lectures my audit lectures especially if you properly studied our material thoroughly with the level of observation that i taught you definitely you will never do a mistake in this paper you will not do a mistake in this paper next another one they're asking historical financial information related to financial information based on occurrence of future events and possible actions so they're asking you a question on historical financial information means what you see audit definition audit is an audit i mean <clears throat> what is audit definition audit is an independent i mean sorry i'm ex extremely sorry an audit is an independent examination of financial information of any entity whether or not profit oriented irrespective of financial information to be done what financial information historical financial information actually this is a question asked from standard staff this is a question asked from standards i'll show you straight away in part three what is the page number we have seven and what is the page number that one b seven okay i'll show you seventh seventh page number directly this is the material which almost in the past six months many of my students followed see here historical financial information means what see here this is there here clearly historical financial information means in information expressed in financial terms in relation to okay economic events occurring in the past period or economic condition circumstance at a point in time in the past historical means it's about past it's not about future it's not about occurrence at a future date obviously the statement here is also what incorrect and you need to write that sentence i don't know how many of you have gone through that first of all only if you have read from that material you can write if at all you have never read that information if at all you didn't read that particular you know material you will not answer this the technical jargon is important that's why we always retain the same level of difficulty what is there in ICS study material we retain that in our material as well so then how come student understand easily this is where my skill set right this is where i i will come into picture right what is your level of understanding what is the level you require so that bridge i need to connect anyhow next so another two marks question straight i showed you in our material the auditor shall assemble the audit documentation in audit file yes and complete the administrative process of assembling the file before the date of audit report the answer before is incorrect here it is after and the assembly of audit file shall be completed within 60 days from the date of audit report okay anyhow part number two page number six Part number two, page number six. You see here, the audit time, audit report shall be assembled on a timely basis after, what is that? After, this is what is said, after the date of audit report. And if possible, please write 60 days after the date of audit reports, even better. Further, you need to write the sentence as it is, you need to write the sentence as it is, and further, it shall be assembled within. 60 days after the date of audit report as per a SQC requirement. So here the statement is again incorrect. So those of you who wrote the correct answer will fetch two marks straight away. Remember, if at all you simply mentioned the word correct or incorrect, reason you didn't explain at all, you will not get all, you will not get any marks. 90% of the case you will not get any marks. Even if you mention some reason, some you know correct or incorrect. And give some wrong reason entirely it will be wrong zero marks only only if the correct or incorrect that word as well as the reason both should match not exactly but whatever you are writing whatever is there in the suggested answer should match should convey the same meaning complete meaning then only you'll fetch full marks 
where a firm is appointed as an auditor of a company the report is to be signed only in the personal name of the partner signing the report here they use the word only it should be signed in the personal name of the partner as well as the firm name both anyhow part 1 81 page those who have those who are uh, you know like who have who listened to my classes i'll show you all these points you see here So what is it saying where the firm is appointed as an auditor the report is signed in the personal name of the auditor and in the name of the firm they used word it should be signed only in the personal name of the auditor they use the word only that's why the sentence is the sentence is incorrect okay here the word only should be removed it should be signed in the personal name of the partner and in the name of the firm you should write that sentence only then you will get that marks otherwise you will not get that marks so two marks those who mentioned in the name of, in personal name of the partner and in the name of the firm both whoever have mentioned only they will get two out of two i'm giving you evaluation right now getting it this is as equal as suggested answer next now what are they saying the term analytical procedure means evaluation of financial information through analysis of plausible relationships among financial and non-financial data correct absolutely correct Evaluation of financial information through analysis of possible. That is correct. Okay, sir, correct. Now, what should we write? This sentence fully you have to write and you need to write one more sentence. Actually, analytical procedure means the definition has two parts. They gave one part and expecting you to write the other part. So, that is a problem. They are expecting you to write the other part. Just a minute. Huh. So, they, it's, the answer is correct. You need to write the second part of the definition also. That is what. I will show you what is the second part of the definition. So part 2, 103 page in my material. Whoever, whoever my, our students were there, I hope you have gone through this. You have gone through this. 103 page. You see, meaning of analytical procedure is there, right? They gave this sentence. Up to this, they gave you need to write this third point also in addition. So that is what analytical procedure full meaning. Analytical procedure meaning is not only these two points. Third point is also there as part of the meaning. Sometimes in this way also they are asking you is it correct or incorrect. Getting it. Maybe here you know institute suggested answer might contain a different way. They may say incorrect and give you the full, full definition. Actually, this definition whatever the sentence they give it is partly correct not fully correct. Because analytical procedure definition is big. So here, whether you put the answer correct and write the full definition or whether you put the answer incorrect and write the full definition, in both the cases, institute should give the marks. But I don't know what, what course of action they are going to take in the scheme of valuation. We are not sure. But this is how you need to present. So two marks. A company should disclose in its annual report the shares the company held in each shareholder holding more than 5%. Each shareholder information it's five percent not ten percent it's items of financial statements chapter it is that's right in the IC material in fact it is covered in schedule three you know for our rest of students we give schedule three videos also whatever schedule three lectures of some five to seven hours covered by our accounts faculty that videos we will give to the students before they start items of financials they need to go through schedule three video next g one g as i mean as per sa 240 the primary responsibility of an auditor is to detect fraud and error in the financial statement. Incorrect. For a, the primary responsibility for the auditor is to express opinion on the financial statements whether they are free from material misstatements due to fraud or error. However, the auditor shall maintain professional skepticism to identify circumstances of fraud, possibility of fraud, identifying fraud risk factors. That sentence you need to write. Getting it? So here it is given part number 2 36. So you just have to go to 36 page. You will find here response auditor responsibility. Auditor is responsible for obtaining assurance whether the financials are free or free from uh, I'm, I'm while getting I'm while while I while accomplishing that responsibility, you are responsible for maintaining skepticism. These two points you need to write. That's what I told. Next. Here you know, Mr. T, a director of A Limited, purchased an old car. 
okay belonging to the company against cooling equipment belonging so he just gave some cooling equipment and got the car it's a non cash transaction the auditor is not required to report to this in caro wrong non cash transactions shall be reported in caro yes or no uh, page number 1113 part number 1113 first point their company has entered into any non cash transaction so this auditor has to report clause number 15 of caro simply two marks you see how simple the questions are in order to answer all these questions thoroughly you need to have tremendous command next 2a 2a s and co chartered accountants are appointed as auditors of abc the chartered accountant yes has came across the following while verifying capital of the company some equity shares are held by promoters some shares are issued as sweat equity shares okay what is the meaning of sweat equity shares this is the question they are asking i think for this the weightage is two marks meaning of sweat equity shares which is a company law question which is also covered in items of financial statements icm material see in items of financial statements whatever material portion related to schedule 3 we have not covered in our material we are we asked students to directly read from items of financials in fact this point we told in marathon also very recently i have uploaded like somewhere in uh, uh, september or october beginning i uploaded ca inter audit marathon of 11 hours 10 or 10 or 11 hours in that also i clearly mentioned this what is the disclosure requirement for promoter shareholding so that is covered in items of financial statement straight question it's a easy question here they are asking here they are asking ca is appointed as auditor of xyz management requested the auditor to change the terms of original engagement okay cap agree to the request made by the management can cap agree can ca agree the you know request from the management regarding changes in terms of engagement now what circumstances can a client make request for changes in terms of engagement under what circumstances so what is the paper number part number 123 the changes in terms of engagement they are asking you this part to one this point under what circumstances a change from client will arise this is the answer you have to write changes in terms of engagement some students might confuse under what circumstances can a client make request to the auditor regarding changes in so changes in circumstances misunderstanding of terms or a restriction on scope of engagement imposed by management these are the circumstances some students may accidentally write this answer circumstances where engagement letter shall be issued again some students accidentally write this be careful okay so the answer is actually this one more 24th page sorry not 23 page it is actually 24th page next in our method is 24th page what are the matters that the auditor shall consider while designing an audit sample straight question what are the matters the auditor shall consider while designing sample okay uh, in our material path to 88th page directly 88th page what are the requirements see so what are the factors the auditor shall consider while choosing a sample design when designing an audit sample this answer you have to write what are the matters the auditor shall consider while designing an audit sample that's it when designing an audit sample the auditor consideration includes consideration of so and so consideration of so and so that answers right question hope you are able to understand if you read from a very simplified material you cannot write like this you can't you can't write this paper perfectly even though it is easy even though you understand that's why the material from which we are reading it should be it should be a benchmark material the best material in the market is icm material always if at all you feel icm material is not organized completely you can take our material where i did organizing you know whatever material there in the ic material we just organized it very neatly we just split it and of course if you want to get the best out of our material take our classes you, you will see a massive difference in 
you know learning of audit next one such area is i mean in an automated environment general it controls are policies processes that are related to many application and support the effective functioning of application control one such area is access control what is the object of access security what are the activities included therein the three marks question what is access security what is included in access security it's actually covered in eis ma what is access security includes that point is given in IC material but we didn't cover in our material that point but we covered this point i'll show you straight away part two what is that 143 page 143 we clearly explain the students in the classroom in the classroom we clearly explain the student access security controls is there no access security what are access security controls includes physical access controls logical access controls all that getting it which is actually eas related syllabus which will be covered in depth in eas but for this in our audit material in automated environment of ICA book it is covered again in depth so when i when we are explaining the class also we told this point clearly to the students if you want to have in-depth knowledge on this please read that in-depth question is asked now you know that's why whoever my students were there you can take the second question as choice you know if at all i am the if at all i am writing the exam i will be taking the second question as choice simple because you know you know almost matters for designing an audit sampling is a tough question this is also an in-depth question this question many students you know don't recognize me don't and don't i mean recognize i mean even this is also a schedule three complete in-depth question that's why if i am the student if i am writing this paper i will take second question as choice next third question the object of auditing is to design and perform audit processes in such a way to enable the auditor to obtain evidence so as to draw conclusions on which he will base the opinion. This can be obtained by performing which procedures? Name the types of audit procedures the auditor want to obtain. You know, page 11th page straight away in part 2, 11th page we have a chapter called documentation. We have a chapter called documentation. See, this is a sentence which they asked. The auditors were consist of so and so. This sentence they asked. So what includes the audit evidence can be obtained by performing the following procedures. These six points you have to write. This is sixth point. If you write, you will get full marks. You need to write the first point which is asked in the question. And you need to, along with that, you need to write the second or sixth point. If you write these two points, I am telling you, you will get full marks. Getting it? So, four marks again here. Messrs. s and S Associates have been appointed as auditor, a company engaged in business. They are analyzing monthly trends. What are the attributes for verifying such expenditure? What are the attributes for verifying such expenditure? Monthly trends. In part 3 in our material, straight question, 99th page. 99th page. While auditor verifies monthly trends, what attributes for auditor, whether the expenditure is current period, is the revenue, not capital, supporting documents, classified under correct expense heard, these points, if you write this part TA, you will get full marks. Four points if you write. How many marks? It is asked for four marks. If you write four marks, you will get full marks. I showed straight question. Uh, while auditing books of accounts of a company, you observed that amount due from a debtor is issued on 31st March but not recognized in books. As an auditor, you want to ensure that all trade receivables balances that are supposed to be recorded, every balance that is to be recorded, is it recorded? All the transactions are recorded or not? They are asking you completeness assertion related verification. This point I specifically highlighted in Marathon. I specifically highlighted in Marathon. How? In marathon, no, in, in my recent marathon, I, I explained items of financial statements directly from IC material. And even I told my students also to read from IC material. Okay? They are asking you completeness assertion. In our material, it is there in 104 page. Completeness assertion. So, in this, any four points you have to write. In this, any four points you have to write. Next. There is a question on virtual currency, which I covered in marathon clearly. Like, sir, you are saying many a times marathon, sir. In marathon, which marathon, sir? Can you show us? Yes, right now I will show you. 
final show you. Just a minute. Now you see here. This audit marathon you have seen. No, one month ago I uploaded. So nine or forty-seven minutes. Eight so minutes. You see here items of financial statements. Trade receivables. I clearly explained. Same points came in exam. See, so let's start with clear read from paper. But all important as per into shall disclose as per. Percent come. What is the percentage of change? Yeah, you so see. So that they are taking good currency during the year. Exactly. The following shall be disclosed. The sixth point right now you are seeing right on my YouTube. The same thing I have you know asked in examination. What are the disclosures related to virtual currency? Okay. Even trade receivable point also highlighted in the marathon. Same two questions straight came in exam. So three marks. Next fourth question. Uh, what are they asking here? You know the question is actually this one. Whatever I'm highlighting in the last three, the first three lines is a story. Just what is included in control environment? What will the auditor evaluate to obtain an understanding of the control environment? In our material, it is part to sixty-one page. Sixty-one page. Control environment includes what? Elements of control environments. Getting it? This one. So, what will the auditor evaluate in order to understand? So, control elements of control environment. So, this one. So, control environment includes. That one you have to write. So it's a four marks question. That matter is enough, not required more than that. Next, it's a joint audit question. Write about responsibility of joint audit. It's a basic question. Basic question. Just a minute. Next, it's a straight question. The next one B. Which one actually it's a four B. Yeah, yeah four B. It's a straight question. Joint auditors were appointed. What is the responsibility of joint auditors? Write about joint and several responsibility. Part number one, ninety five. Again, straight question. It's again straight question. You see, in the joint audit, we have the in the following areas. Like you see, responsibility of joint audit. This entire segment D has been asked as the question. This entire D segment has been asked as a question straight away. This you see, write a short note on responsibility of joint or that question has been asked as a story. Okay. So again, I showed you clearly. See, my my objective of this video is not to explain what is the answer. It's not to explain. See, anybody can verify this, but you have to understand at what level the institute is expecting. You may think the paper is easy. You may think the paper is lengthy. You may think the paper is moderate. But if you are unable to understand whether the paper is easy or tough, doesn't matter. You can't write properly. Never, never believe in shortcut material, short notes, simplified materials, most simple material. No, don't believe all that. If you study from them hundred times also, you can't match your answer at par with ICA suggested answer. It's not how better you understand. It's about how better you present, how better you are presenting, so that it matches with ICA stand. That's why we never make our material simple. We make it as per what I say expects. We don't follow simple process. We follow the process. We follow the right process. Very simple. I follow the right process rather than a simple process. Next. Explain the benefits of understanding internal control, meaning of internal control, and benefits of understanding internal control. Same. It's again in our part two materials, right away, sixty seventh page. Benefits of internal control. Benefits of internal control. Meaning of internal control is given somewhere in the main. In the you know, internal control means policies and procedures designed, implemented by the management to you know. There are some objectives. You now you need to write reliability of financial reporting. You know, uh, prevention of fraud and error, increasing efficiency and effectiveness of operations. All that. That is meaning of internal control. Next, there's a straight question I showed. As per SCF I twenty analytical procedures. What are the examples of analytical procedure having consideration of relationships? 
specifically asking you an example on considerations of relationship 105 in our material same part to material it is 105 see side heading i clearly gave examples of analytical procedures having consideration of relationships or these points only if you write these points you'll get marks otherwise no how many marks by the way that question three marks if you write any three points you'll get marks many students will write this point comparable information for prior period some students may not even understand this question this is tough question actually depth in depth question next 5a the question is here what will be the report, reporting responsibility of the auditor when he forms opinion and prepare audit report on comparative financial statement reporting responsibility they are asking you know in our book it is clearly 94th page with respect to the comparative financial statements when auditor is giving a report you can write common reporting responsibility which is absolutely correct answer this answer you have to write this we explained in class if prior period of financials were auditor what auditor shall report if the prior period of financials were not auditor how auditor shall re shall report in other matter paragraph we clearly explained this in sa 710 it's a clearly SA 710 audit report question another four marks next I don't know about MCQ paper but with respect to descriptive paper it is not very complicated it is very easy to score at least 40 in this paper 40 marks scoring is very easy 40 scoring is very easy in MCQ if at all you are scoring more than 20 easily 60 plus exemption is very easy 40 plus scoring is not so difficult in this paper provided you met with the suggested answer right now i'm showing you all the answers suggested answer exact i'm sure i challenge tomorrow one suggested answer comes once again watch this video anyhow it is there on the youtube you watch this video once again you'll understand whether my approach is correct or not next this is audit ceiling question ma very simple you have to explain audit ceiling provision companies act audit ceiling provision every you know a person cannot do audit of more than 20 companies if it's a partner in a partnership firm per partner 20 companies who is in practice if a if a partner is in employment he will be excluded from ceiling limit the following companies are not considered in ceiling limit one person company dormant company section 8 company so no uh, and uh, this one private limited company this answer is there no provision is there no that one private limited company whose paid up capital is less than 100 crore which has complied with the 92 and 137 then you see here here already they have 40 companies Two partners only working partners, uh, COP partners. So two partners can do audit of 40 and already 40 were there. So they are offered with another new public company. They can't accept. Simple. So it's a four marks. Easy question. Next. Explain various purposes of audit documentation. The question is actually in the last line. Purpose of documentation. Part to third page. Try it away. Try it question. What is the purpose of documentation? You have to write this answer. How many marks it was given? Three marks. Huh? Any three points if you write enough. Out of six, any three points. This is what I tell to students in class also. Those whoever have listened classes with me, I think you're, you can easily relate it to. Okay. Next. Next. So it's three marks is actually easy. You noticed a misstatement resulting from fraud or suspected fraud and concluded that it is not possible to continue. It's a fraud related chapter, 43rd page. Same sentence I'll show you. As a result of misstatement or suspected fraud, fraud, the auditor encounters exceptional circumstances that you are unable to continue. The entire matter you have to write up to this one, two, three points you have to write. Fourth one not required, one, two, three you have to write. Only if you write all these three points, you will get three marks. Otherwise, no. If you write only two points, you'll get two marks. If you write only one point, only one mark. If you write, if you write an answer which is not matching with the zero, that's it. Three marks. This is regarding, this is regarding a company raised funds by issuing debentures. These funds were raised for expansion purpose. However, the company utilized it for payment. The company utilized it for repayment of long-term loans, diversion of funds. 
loans rise for i mean debt debt instruments rise for one purpose and use utilize it for another purpose it is on class 10 ipo fpo that point many students may write re repayment in de i mean default in repayment of loans some some students might confusingly write clause number 9 related content it's actually clause number 10 what is the page number table 1 see Loss number 10, end use of funds, whether the money raised by the IPO, FPO, including debt instrument. Please understand, not easy. Getting it, paper is not easy. You will do mind your mistakes. There is a possibility that you will do mind your mistakes. Because you sometimes, at least in every part, in every question, there is one question which is little bit confusing. Okay. Here, can you guide this is the question the audit team about areas that will be covered in verifying internal control mechanism and they are giving a clue that is the auditor of multiplex cinema so in an audit of cinema theater what are the controls that you will be verifying what are the areas that you will verify one option is here i have a mixed opinion i have a mixed opinion i don't know i don't know mostly this only will be correct you know the second option will be correct this is second option this is first option so first option is writing the answer which is given in uh, you know 84th page in a, in audit of different types of entities audit of receipts from show collections odd income from advertisement restaurant income expenditure this point you have to write briefly briefly that is one area of internal control in case of movie theaters if at all this is the intention of the examiner who knows exactly okay, here i'm having a confusion another alternative is Another alternative is just a minute. Another answer is which is there in our actually here I mentioned page number. 56 ma, 56 ma. In that, controls relevant to audit, professional judgment, factors that will influence auditor regarding which controls are relevant to audit, which controls are not relevant to audit, controls not relevant to audit. This answer you may have to write. Okay, I'm not sure exactly which answer institute is giving. Okay, because exact sentence was not there anywhere. Maybe it's a you know a question created out of some you know. Uh, some other book or maybe the examiner has created on his own who knows paper setter whoever okay so i'm not sure whether uh, did they ask it in the context of cinema theater audit or did they ask in general internal control context if they ask in general internal control context you need to write risk assessment internal control related answer if it is asked in cinema theater context you need to write the answer given in audit of different types of entities this is one confusing question which i got again which i faced in this book one more confusing question. Next, here it is very simple. CAR is appointed to check whether provisioning of NPA is made by bank. What aspects you will verify for this purpose? What points you will verify when conducting audit of a bank to verify provisions? The so straight question, audit of provisions, part 3, 57th page in our material. In our material, it is 57th page. Audit of provisions and contingencies. No, here any three points you have to write because it's a question. Okay, four points you have to write. You have to just write four points. All these four points are concerned about NPS only. Standard is a substandard, that discussion only. Next two more questions. PA Sevak is appointed as an auditor of municipal corporation. He wants to verify various expenditures of municipality. Define the term municipality and state under which heads expenditure in case of a municipality be classified this i have this is not covered in my material but it is there in ICA book stride question okay i didn't expect this much in depth will be tested so in audit of different types of entities and items of financials you know we we covered because this chapter is a huge we covered generally keeping in mind what is important from exam point of view but they went ahead and asked much more you know deeper questions sub question they asked getting it so what i'm going to do you know for my next May 2023, anyhow, I have decided different types of entities and items of financial statements, a risk assessment chapter, anyhow, we have to give new recordings. For these three chapters, especially, we are replacing the videos. 
we are replacing the videos getting for all other chapters we have given updated videos for these three chapters whoever have attended our class might be aware that we have given previous version videos but now we are upgrading the video videos those three four chapters analytical procedure we are replacing the entire videos with the new stuff so that i don't even want that five to ten percent risk also my student when he go to the examination if at all he is unable to write he should only understand that okay harsha sir covered this harsha sir metal covered this he covered in the class it is me who did the mistake this is the answer he, this is the option i mean this is the conclusion he should get he should not feel that i didn't cover of course most of my students will not feel that because the quantum of coverage in our classes is substantially higher than anybody else the detailedness or the clarity whatever it is i'm telling you you can you, you can completely trust on us that's it so in this paper i can say hardly at 10 to 12 marks only students might have faced a difficulty but rest 100 and 100 plus marks students can confident to write easily if at all they followed my classes and material for sure next llp anyhow for this no i'll show you directly i say material i'll show you different types of entities expenditure incurred by municipalities can be broadly classified under these general administration public health public safety education public works you know what this is actually there in wikipedia the same thing is copied in the ic material by the institute next llp what books of accounts llp has to maintain it's a straight question again what books of accounts llp has to maintain first part question number 11 in our book first part that question if that pa first part a answer if you write that's enough this a this a answer if you write that's enough more than enough so this paper analysis is done beyond paper analysis what i explained you what i explained you is how important to read from a standard material it's not how simple the material how short the material how sweet the material no material should be always of ica standard you need to learn from the material you need to increase yourself to that level that is what really needed so don't waste time and uh, if at all your juniors are asking you, your friends, whoever have not wrote recent exams, if at all they want to, they are inquiring for my classes, you can tell them to reach me at 9700273087. Anyhow, uh, regarding my upcoming May 2023 audit, I'm going to release one video regarding lectures availability, all that Google Drive, you know, we have application based. We have an app called Rest of a C and CME there, you can download and then enroll for the class. I'm telling you, you're going to get the best experience, you know, my 2021 audit class was best benchmark later in 2022 beginning i did one recording which is again was best again in 2020 in the last six months i did one recording which is also critically acclaimed by many next may 2023 i'm going to replace few chapters with that i'm telling you whoever is enrolling with us audit i'm telling you you'll be top notch in audit compared to anybody across india with your level any student with any student you can compare you will have a tremendous knowledge for sure. So have a nice time. Take care. I hope I helped you to open your eyes regarding how should we prepare. Okay. So all the best. Those who have recently wrote the examination, hope you have given your best. I'm hoping for positive result. Literally, I pray that you have to qualify in that exam for sure, provided you have given that minimum efforts. All the very best. Thank you. Have a nice time.